We're still here at White Hearn, and what I find absolutely incredible, Nani, is the fact at how intricate the detail is in the room that you guys created for Christmas here. This is a fantastic Christmas room. It's, it's, it's representing Christmas morning here at White Hearn. And all of these wonderful toys and artifacts you see belong to the McQuestons. These are the things that they received for Christmas time. And we have them set out so everyone can enjoy them. And I think Christmas morning really is the most exciting time of the year for any little kid, whether it's in the 1800s or today. Absolutely, absolutely. My favorite part though of Christmas is getting to opening my stocking. Well, and stockings are hung by the chimney with care here. We have all sorts of wonderful goodies popping out of them because it is Christmas morning here. You can see a baseball. We've got some wonderful dolls, clothes, some books. But tucked into those stockings typically would be um, different kinds of things like walnuts and oranges were very special in the past. They came from so far away. Typically, you'd only have one orange a year and it would be on Christmas morning. I could imagine because I love oranges, so I'd have to wait until Christmas. <laughs> and I love this little tea set. Look at that. And there's cannons and just there's so many really amazing so toys. So many details in, in this house. We've got a wonderful um, fur, fur muff for keeping your hands warm. As you mentioned, the tea set. Some some snowshoes for little Calvin, who had a great, a great uh, time using snowshoes through his entire life, and he lived quite a long time. And of course, the showstopper of this room, though, is the Christmas tree. Yep, there's our wonderful Christmas tree. It's it's set with uh, some pretty unusual ornaments for nowadays. My favorite is an onion, but we've got carrots and peas and corn on the cob, and of course. We uh, have a few pickles on there for children to keep their eye open for when they visit here as well. And so why would they traditionally decorate the tree with food? Well, the first ornaments that were glass that came out, a lot of them were shaped in food, sort of like a, a Christmas wish for bounty in the new year, health, wealth, prosperity. And that's if um, they survive the tree not getting burnt down, because I've noticed there's <laughs> candles and not electric lights, of course. Absolutely, tons of candles and and paper ornaments, which make it a little bit dangerous at Christmas time as well. A little excitement well. factor, really. Very exciting. You'd only have your tree lit for maybe 15 minutes because it was such a danger. And you'd always have a great bucket of water by your tree as well in case of emergencies. Yeah, I, I, could, I would definitely want to have a few buckets of water. <laughs> and so this has been absolutely amazing. And of course, if you noticed, I, I found something to maybe take home with me if they don't notice. A little <laughs> fur muff. Well, thank you so much for having us today. So if you want to check out White Hern at Christmas, it's right here in Hamilton. We'll see you guys later. Thank you.